hard warning, which I imagine means he's going to lose a point. <laughs> he's fighting very slow. So all of a sudden, it's just like he, he went into slow gear. He's not even punching with the same intensity. Oh, he's heading into trouble times. Final seconds, round 10. <laughs> There's Tony Tucker, looking a bit weary as he goes to his He's nailing anybody to sign this contract. Ha! Ah. You got two more rounds, huh? This is it. Eleven's coming. You know what I want you to do? You know what I want you to do? you we're in Norris's corner now. Let's listen. Can't give him any rest. Of okay. Easy ground. Can't give him any shots. Open, well, these open, two open, fighters open. are trying to get ready for round 11. Virgil Hill is getting ready for his big moment. First time he's really center stage in a big super fight in Las Vegas. Virgil Hill in the dressing room getting ready to face this man, Thomas the Hitman Hearns, who's been down this road of the big marquee fight on many, many occasions. That could be a factor tonight. All right, let's see if Norris has gotten recharged in his corner. They said, well, you blew that round. I thought he did. You blew that round. We need these two. It's 11 and 12. And uh, the corner correctly is telling Norris to step it up again. Suck it up. Come up with something. Don't let this guy get brave. Well, Orland started fast in that last round for the first 30 seconds, and then he just posed the rest of the round. Well, I think he got hit there. He'd, he'd gotten hit several times. And, uh, you know, you are talking about a guy that can bang. And, and there, there is an effect to hard punches, which is that he blows it out. He's been blocking everything. He hadn't gotten hit real hard yet. Tucker did put a couple of good combinations together in that last round. And hit him with good counter shots. I mean, he won the round. We're now at 97-93 unofficially with uh, Norris ahead. And definitely these two these two rounds are rounds that Tucker should be really fighting up to as hard as he could. Again, a situation, though, like in the previous fight with Chiquita Gonzalez and Melcher Cobb Castro, several close rounds along the way. Right now, both men look tired. Signs of real weariness in Tucker. And uh, certainly Norris hasn't got the, the speed that he had before. That was the fastest punches he's, he's thrown in a while his last three. And he got the two lefts on and then missed the overhand right. That was a combination that was working for him earlier. Tries it again there. A bit of a pattern by Orland. He throws the two quick lefts and then the follow-up right. He hasn't gone to that body as much as he had before. Tucker, 32, still a pretty graceful guy. Yeah, I was just going to mention that. With that set of punches, you can see the, the talent the man had, the grace, the ability to uh, dominate the sport that he had. Every once in a while, you see flashes of that greatness. And then it fades, and the man comes on and outspeeds him. Tucker trying to wheel Norris around. He likes to use that jab and then tries to throw the left hook to the body. If he can get a couple of jabs in, let's see if Tucker does that anymore in this round. He likes to go to that left hook to the body. It's been a times an effective punch for him tonight. Find this round a dull round. I mean, nothing has happened here. There hasn't been a great deal of production. Uh-oh, here goes the point. One, Is he going to take one? one yes, he is. Stop. All right, he's got one point from Orland Norris. That could be a factor here tonight. He had won the round, so you take a point away. Make you mad you're going to call it on him? Write it down. What the hell? Oh. All right, Ferdy, let's take a look at this a low blow and see if it yeah, wasn't Yeah, let's factor. see how bad this was to take a point away. Because remember, this is the third warning. Well, he 
couldn't see it well there. It looked like he landed right where the TNT is. And yeah, it looked uh, kind of borderline to me, and that's yeah, when he said in the instructions yeah. he wasn't going to take a point right. away from it. According to those instructions, again, you can't see it properly there. But it certainly wasn't one of those below the border. No. It, All right, we are getting ready for round 12. And How I does got, the scorecard look? I got Norris ahead, 106 to 102, meaning Tucker's got to win. Remember, as you pointed out, a lot of these rounds have been close. And uh, while we were on that long streak. Come on, come on, Jim, let's go. All of you keep it up, you keep up his neck. He tried to go with the old Muhammad Ali trick on his neck, pushing down. Might as well. Nothing else is stopping this guy. Now, this, is a diff and this could be a round. This could be a round. It's extremely important to Tucker. Tucker must take this. Finish this fight looking good. It's a possibility that the judges are looking at it differently, but I see that uh, I think superior speed, superior uh, boxing technique, and uh, blocking of shots has won this fight if he survives the round for uh, Norris. Two clashed heads inside. Tucker looked a little bothered by that. Still, well, that left is still quick from Tony Tucker. Yep. Snaps out. Norris landed one left, but then missed the follow-up right. Again, yeah, by that second warning, that's dope, stay off it. Second warning, he's the third one, and he can lose this one. Tucker trying to put some punches together, punching combinations, that's what he did earlier in his career. He's such good at but, but Norris, Norris has that radar that just avoids the punches. He looks like he will, if he gets caught leaning back that far, he's going to get drilled into the canvas. But so far, Tucker has not been able to land it. Throws the combinations are beautiful, but they're not effective. They're not hurting Norris. What now? The mouthpiece went out. So they call time. They will take the mouthpiece to the corner, wash it off. And then replace it. Let's go. Yep, they didn't even get a wash. <laughs> Not too hard to Good way to the body. Just above that. Now the two exchange punches. Norris landing first, and then Tucker trying to fire back. Whoa, Tucker dangerously put his hand on Norris's head again. One more, and he loses this one. Norris punching much better now. The last two rounds, he sort of took a vacation. He's starting to get a little sharper again. Harder. Oh, that landed, but not hard. Good combination from Orland Norris. That last right sends Tucker's head back. Thirty seconds left in this fight. Entertaining fight, which uh, because of the size difference and the the, uh, yeah, the uh, uh, absolute uh, amazing ability of Norris to outthink, outspeed the larger man and outpunch him. Actually, be an interesting uh, thing to see if the judges see it as we do. A one-sided victory for Norris. There it is. This fight goes the distance, and immediately the arms go up for Marlon Norris. He feels that he has won this bout. Decision, so let's go up to Jimmy now.